Bev again. Now, today's video, I want to answer a question that somebody asked me. Do you really need fiber? Okay, first of all, what is it? Fiber is a roughage or a bulk. Um, it's found in veggies, uh, fruits, whole grains, legumes. In other words, it's only found in carbohydrates, not in protein and not in fat. So what is it? Well, basically, it's, it's a structural kind of form of carbohydrate. It's a storage form of carbohydrate as well. And there are two types, soluble, which means that's going to absorb water, and insoluble, doesn't use any water. Okay, um, this one is going to become a jelly-like kind of slimy mass as it moves through your digestive system, and it's going to slow your digestion. And you want inefficiency in digestion. You want efficiency in lots of other things in biochemical uh, uh, patterns, but you want inefficiency in digestion. You want to get the nutrients out and you don't want a huge fast push of glucose into your bloodstream. So it slows digestion, but that means it's going to lower your cholesterol levels and your blood glucose levels. So this is good. On the insoluble side, you're going to have a bulkier stool. You're going to have less constipation. You know, people who are on starvation diets or who are on non-carb carb diets are always going to get chronically constipated. Why? Because there's a really slow movement of food through their digestive tract, right? So this is going to help prevent constipation. It's going to regulate consistency and frequency. And guess what? If you have hemorrhoids, you're going to want this, okay? Now, um, why do you eat it? You eat it for your probiotics. You don't eat it, you can't use it. You can't use um, strong chains of fiber, but your probiotics in your intestines are living and that's their food. They need that for energy. So they, they're the only ones that can break down those strong fiber chains. And uh, also fiber is gonna help with your weight control. Um, why? Because as I said, fiber low, uh, slows your digestion. Um, it's going to keep you full longer. You're not going to be eating as much. Um, and it uh, fiber is a, a less calorie dense or less um, energy dense type of food, which means it doesn't um, initiate a big metabolic response. Okay. So um, let me just take an example. One stalk of celery, you know, it's very filling, right? But it's only 10 calories. It's 95% water. And guess what? It has one and a half grams of fiber. Okay, now, um, I would say, you know, if you're looking for a good ratio during the day of uh, whatever you're eating of fiber to carbs, um, the best ratio is about one to five. So one gram um, uh, fiber to every five grams of uh, carbohydrate. Now, you can do 10. You know, five, five is really the best, but you can go one to 10. And the other thing is daily fiber. Okay, if you're, um, if you're a woman, I would suggest 25 grams of fiber daily. And if you're a man, 35 to 38 grams daily. Um, and you know, if you're drinking a lot of vegetable and fruit juice, don't count that as fiber um, because they don't have any fiber. Um, uh, so it doesn't require a lot of digestion. It's a very fast, efficient type of digestion, not what you're after. If, um, you know, if you want to slow down your digestion and make it more uh, inefficient, that's better. Okay. So I hope this helps you understand that you need to eat carbohydrates and you need to eat um, uh, ones that are not energy dense. Okay. See you in the next video. Bye.